Welcome to Heek Suit Dracon here be dragons. So this is an updated video to my original video about using pair VPN to bypass the hotspot speed limit imposed by many mobile providers. This was one of my first videos I ever made. Therefore, it wasn't that detailed, but it is also one of my most popular videos. Since I've gotten a lot of questions in the comments, I decided to make a new video that will address the most common questions. So let's start with what pair VPN does, what it doesn't do and how it works. So pair VPN can basically make certain devices connected to a mobile phone hotspot or tether appear to be from the phone itself, bypassing any limits or throttling that is usually applied to hotspot devices, unless a specific hotspot plan has been purchased. Mobile providers have implemented hotspot limits because the mobile networks were designed for mobile data use in the beginning and not for home internet use. And that uses a lot more data than mobile devices. This can cause a mobile network to lag pretty badly. So limits were used to prevent pe people from using their mobile phones as home internet devices. Now, many providers are building out new 4G and 5G networks designed specifically for home internet services, but they're far from finished. And a lot of older services, such as DSL, are being discontinued, leaving some people with no option for internet access right now. Luckily, we can bypass that hotspot speed limit. Several options have existed in the past, but most, if not all, have been patched. So far, the only option I've found that works in all providers is called PairVPN, which is made by the same people that make PDANet, a well-known Wi-Fi hotspot application mostly designed for the same purpose as PairVPN, to offer a hotspot service on phones that either disabled it or charged for it. So, it comes from a team that is well-known and that has proven itself in this area. Now, mobile pr providers can track what data is coming from devices connected to your hotspot by how many devices the data packet passes through. Any packets with more hops than the phone are hotspot devices and get limited. Now, Pair VPN works by creating a VPN, or virtual private network, which is an encrypted tunnel between the phone and in another device, generally a PC. This makes all of the data from the hotspot appear to be coming directly from the phone itself as far as the provider's concerned, since all the packets prior to the VPN server app are encrypted. The network simply can't identify data going over Pair VPN as hotspot data since it is encrypted. Now, Pair VPN is special because the VPN connection is only between your phone and PC. Once it hits the phone, it is again regular trackable data. Technically, any VPN service does bypass speed limits, as the packet hops can't be identified. However, even though traffic can't be identified as coming from a different device, providers will see a lot of traffic that is over a tunnel, which says VPN. And there's only one reason a person would run a lot of traffic over VPN on a mobile device. Now, in my testing, I found on multiple providers that my PC is not speed limited when using a regular VPN, such as PureVPN, NordVPN, ExpressVPN, Surfshark, etc. And I get the same speed as my phone. However, each service I've tried this on resulted in me getting a text or an email rather quickly telling me that I'm violating the terms of service. And that if I don't stop, my service will be discontinued. After stopping the VPN service over the hotspot, the messages went away. Now, I've never gotten notes like this while using Pair VPN due to how it works. So, first of all, we need to go over what Pair VPN can and cannot do. Pair VPN can only give you speeds up to the same speeds as what your phone gets. If your phone gets 200 megabits a second, your PC should be able to get close to that same speed, though it'll probably be a little bit slower. However, if your actual phone data is limited, then Pair VPN will also be limited to that speed. And the same goes for any transfer limits that reduce your speed once you hit a certain amount of data. Pair VPN does not block those. So you want to use a service with unlimited data. Because remember, Pair VPN only removes limits on the hotspot service itself. In order to use Pair VPN, you need a client and a server with the app on those devices. Generally, this is a phone running the Pair VPN server and a PC running the client software. If the device doesn't have a client app, then it won't work without some creative engineering. This means Xbox, PlayStation, TVs, and etc. most likely won't work straight out of the box. However, Android-based TVs and entertainment systems, including Amazon devices such as Fire TV and Fire Stick, should be able to run Pair VPN. Though I have not tested this, and you will need a sideload of that. 
So here's how we're going to set up Pair VPN on a PC and on a mobile. Then I'm going to go over the basics of how to get it running with a gaming device, such as an Xbox or PlayStation, which is a bit more involved. Pair VPN is very simple. After installing it on your devices, start the app on your PC and Android devices. On the Android device, hit the activate VPN switch and it will ask for a code. On the PC, click the connect VPN switch and it will give you a code. Enter this code into the Android app and you're done. From now on, all you need to do is activate pair VPN on both devices. You never need to enter the code again. Connecting an Xbox, PlayStation, or other device is a bit harder. This requires you to share your pair VPN connection with those devices. The easiest way to do this is to run an Ethernet cable from your PC to your Xbox or PS5, then enable internet connection sharing. To do this, you want to open up your Explorer in Windows 11 and go to your Network tab and then go to Properties. Then you go to Change Adapter Settings. And on the Ethernet adapter that you would have your device connected to, you would right click on that and go to Properties. Then click on Sharing and click on Allow Other Network Users to Connect Through This Computer's Internet Connection. And on here, you want to choose the Pair VPN connection, which on my device is Ethernet 4. You do not want the Wi Fi coming in because that's going to be the internet coming from the phone, but it won't be protected by Pair VPN. So you want Pair VPN. After you select that, um, you just hit the OK button and see the Ethernet 4. This is the Pair VPN network adapter. That's the one you want. Now, if you want to share a uh, Wi-Fi connection, you want to do the same thing, but you want to share your Wi-Fi instead. This can also be done through the settings. Now, depending on which version of Windows you're running, this might be a little different, and you're going to have to set it up on your gaming device. So you're going to have to look up how to do that. Normally, you should just get an automated IP, but you may need to set that manually. All right, so that should cover it. Have a great day.